Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, man, what's going on? You know who it is. Mr. S. Dot Warmack, I'm in the building, and you, you know what I do. What I do is I give you videos and I give you things to talk about that a lot of you guys might not have known or maybe you guys see a different perspective of it. Maybe I'll give you another perspective. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, you know, like I said, all this information is out there. You just got to grab it. It's free. So I'm trying to help you out. Today I'm going to talk about Iraq. You know the situation with ISIS. You know, and what's going on with ISIS is a, a, an Al-Qaeda Al link. Basically it's Al-Qaeda again. It's Al Qaeda linked, quote unquote, a group that's going in northern Iraq, wreck and shop right now, and they're marching to Baghdad. Like there's all sorts of there's people getting taken arms in Kirkuk, uh, Baghdad, and everywhere else where they haven't been. They've been they, they they overtook Mosul, got the central bank for 430 million. They got American, nobody knows how. They got American, uh, right? They got American. Uh, artillery, American weaponry. They got uh, the support from the Saudis in America. What it was is they were fighting Syria. And everything was cool when they were fighting Syria because they're going the Saudis in our work. And I think these are what some people were there getting our quote unquote money. Look at my video of 60 million that was given to Syria. I think they found a way to get some of their funnel money. But uh, ISIS mocked over Mosul. And like I said, they're already, they're, they're, strike, they're poised to strike it. Bad dad, uh, any 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 day now. So, and the problem is Prime, Prime Minister Malaki. I, I'm sorry if I chopped that name up, you know, but uh, who he refused to sign the security agreement number one, which in retrospect, I think that's why Afghanistan signed our, that security agreement because they took one look and, like I said, the president made new, said numerous times to them, look, when we when we leave, we're leaving. So you might want to sign a security agreement, but they didn't want Iraq didn't want to do it. I think Afghanistan saw that and said, you know, where's the after the election? Of course, the cars I was being the hardliners to go be, indulge yourself out when he gets out of office. But the hardliners, uh, but in Afghanistan they just like, no, we ain't signed. But when the new, when the new elections came around, they signed it like that. It was smart to do that. But uh, Malawi didn't. Uh, Sign no security agreement, you know, and and now he's calling for a state of emergency, you know. He he he's saying ISIS is slaughtering everybody in their quest for, you know, Islamic state and the current government. And let me tell you about the problem here. The problem in Iraq is you have a Shiite-led government who oppresses the fuck out of the Sunnis or or perceived to oppress them. So now you got ISIS, which is a Sunni-led movement, being funded by, and dig this, folks, to be funded by Saudi Arabia and Qatar and Kuwait, the same countries that, you know, well, I'm going to get ahead of myself. They're being funded by those three countries, but the twist is, ISIS has aligned himself with remnants of Saddam Hussein's Ba'athist party. The same Ba'athist party, the same with from Saddam Hussein, who invaded Kuwait and was going to kick ass in Qatar, who the Saudis called on old man Bush to come help to get him out of Kuwait. And now we're backing guys that have that old remnant. But, yeah, that's crazy. But, uh, like I said, ISIS wants an Islamic State. Uh, and, uh, you know, most Sunnis, and here, here's the thing, most Sunnis in Iran, let me clear this up, because a lot of people think all, all Muslims are terrorists and this and that, and apparently they're not. Most Sunnis don't don't accept ISIS. They don't. They may, not, they may not agree with ISIS, but at the same time, if you're being suppressed and you're being, you know, if you're being killed and tortured or whatever, and all of a sudden you have your brethren come up, and then these guys are like by any means necessary, what are you going? What you going to do? You know, you're going to deny. Them. You're like, oh, well, you know. But uh, that's the problem. And, and now we're even talking. About trying to talk to Iran and like that's some shit right there. We're trying to talk to Iran but here's what's going to happen. Well here's what I think is trying to happen. They want to divide Iraq into three parts. 
a northern, a middle, no, a northern, a southern, and maybe a, what was it, northwest, western part. And there's how, how the breakout will be. Iran would get the, get the northern half, because the northern half, I guess, is mostly Shiites. And Iran's a Shiite country, like majority country. The southern half will go to Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar, because those are all Sunnis, whatever. And then the northwestern half maybe will go to Syria, or maybe the Kurds, the Kurdistan, or whatever. But uh, it's real west, and, and, and that's what's working out to be. And what it is is the United States has done fucked and mucked this all up with all the hell. We can't do anything we wanted to. We, we created the problem. Hey, 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 look at the timeline of Iraq. During the Iran Iraq war, we supported, when we go way back further, we supported the Shah of Iran. And if you don't know who the Shah of Iran is, that's your homework assignment tonight, is to look up the Shah of Iran, and you'll find out who he is. We support the Shah of Iran. Well, Iraq and Iran, well, Iran got overthrown. Iran had a civil war, got overthrown, whatever you call it. That's when we had, the, like, the, I think, the eight hostages. And matter of fact, one of the Iranian hostages was from a town that was five miles from me. Just a little, because my, my cousin worked with his brother. Yeah. At the steel mill over at Scottsdale. Shout out to Scottsdale. But uh, when I ran around, there was like a couple of Iran Iraq wars. We went on Saddam Hussein's side. We gave Saddam the weapons, read the technology in that. And then what happened is Saddam Hussein and his mighty wisdom kicked the Americans out. Well, it's his country, it's the right to do it. He's the president. They kicked the Americans out, and then he got a little greedy. He started encroaching in other sovereign lands. So what do we do? We supported prior Iran and espionage. Well, Saudi Arabia called us, so we had to go kick the Saddam out. So now, we kicked the Saddam out, and then after a while, Saddam went and listened, so he did the mustard gas and everything, and then we went in and did him for good. All be all, and now we see who's benefiting from this, because it's not the taxpayers, because when that happened, our gas shot up. So it's not, it's not the American public. The American public, and everybody says we're a free and safe Iraq. Look, people, them, them bastards over there have been going through that before the Bible. Us over there isn't going to help. It's more, it's all it's going to do is enrage and fuel them to do more. The Iraqi, uh, what the, not the Iraqi, the Iranian Ayatollah already said that their, their the blood won't, what did he say? The, there will be jihad until America is torn down. He, he already said this apparently. These people have been fighting for years, and these are and everybody says a lot. Of Islam is such a peaceful. Let's let's not break it down to all people who study Islam were like this, because they're all people who study Christians like the Catholic priests and fuck little boys. That's the perspective I'll put it in if I have to. But the problem is, like. When they, they, ISIS was okay. And it was an independent Syria, Iraq. No, ISIS stands for an Islamic Syria Iraqi state. Something like that. So that's fancy. Look at, you got a computer, look the fucking thing up. But uh, the problem is, we were supporting them when they were fighting Syria. But now they're in Iraq, and all of a sudden we're like, hey, what's, what's, what's this? What are they doing? Like, you, know, like, you don't know you're going to put money into it. But. The overall effect of all this is like uh, Afghanistan is like, well, how do we sign that security package? So keep an eye on ISIS, man, because they cause a wreck and they're going to be a, a force to deal with. So I'm out. Peace.